The National Grade 6 assessment results are out and Alicia Scheller was announced the top performer. The Success Elementary Primary School student scored 503.34 marks. She was also adjudged the top Region 4 student. Second was Kaya Daniels from Green Acres Primary with 503.27 marks. Third went to Lucas Spooner from Mays on the 12th Primary with 502.44 marks. And fourth went to Skylar Gopal with 502.38 marks. Three candidates shared the fifth positions with 502.33 marks each. The students were delighted. Feels amazing and I'm still in disbelief. I want to be a scientist and to reach my goal to go to Queens College and re go in the top 10 of the country. I had to study for long hours and I used sources such as Guyana Learning Channel, Quizme, and the education website. Used to wake up 4.30 a.m. in the mornings and go to bed at 9 and doing classes. I didn't study I didn't study much, but I did do a lot of lessons and classes and a lot of work preparing up to the multiple choice questions and the paper twos. It doesn't feel much different because I am the same person after all, but transitioning is just a different school and like a different structure and there'll be different teachers, but that's really it. I'm feeling ecstatic. It's like it's not real. Like it's a dream. <laughs> but we started very early, so by grade five she was ready. So grade six was easy transition. She just took it light into it. Yeah. Minister of Education Priya Manichan said she salutes the students on their achievements. Given that we have over 70 mil million children across the world who are unable to do what these children are doing, just getting to um, the end of, of primary education and actually setting these assessments and taking them, getting them into high school um, for a secondary education, they're all winners, them, their parents, their teachers, and we're very grateful. Congratulations to all. Um, thank you to the parents and teachers and to all the ministry staff, centrally and regionally, who worked to make this happen. I was very pleased to see that we are finally appear to be, and fingers are crossed, climbing out of the COVID um, hardship that we had, and that really hit us in the education sector very, very hard, as it did countries around the world. And we're finally seeing results that show that um, we, we have taken some good, sound decisions, even at the time when we ourselves didn't know if they were right, because we hadn't had that COVID experience before and that our investments of textbooks and um, breakfast and more trained teachers and resources that allow for distance learning like the Learning Channel, EduFM, worksheets, the websites, QuizMe, um, that those are paying dividends in students and pupils who ordinarily are not present at these kinds of ceremonies because they didn't have the same resources that private school type children would have. Dr. Nicole Manning, the Director of Operations, Exams Services at the Caribbean Examinations Council said there were improved performances in mathematics, English and social studies at this year's exams. She however posited that science saw a slight dip in the scores. Over 15,000 students sat the 2024 National Grade 6 assessment.